Hello ladies, thank you for stopping by my channel. Today's video we are going to be talking about are black men canceled? Have we canceled them? <laughs> yes! The reason why I wanted to come on here and talk about that is because the dating is like crazy out here. I don't know about you ladies but girl, 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 this dating is it's a mess out here. So, are black men canceled? Have we canceled them? Are we out dating other people? Are we out here dating Hispanics, white guys, Asian, um, I don't know, Indian, whatever girl, whatever come to you and you like him? Hey, okay. So let's go ahead and get started. And by the video, you know, you, I'm sure I'll get men and women on here, you know, saying, what does she mean is black men canceled? What is this all about? What came to this was, I see a lot on social media where there are videos. I have a TikTok. There, I don't do no videos on there yet, but I have a TikTok. I just watch videos right now. Um, I have a TikTok and I see all the time these other races men i don't want to just say white because i see indian i see um i see hispanic i see all kind of men talking about how they want to date a black woman and this that and the other so i thought i would make a video on this because i'm like are we canceling black men and start dating other men or what is this or okay so before you start in on me and leave me a lot of bad messages let's just have the whole video okay let's just chat okay are they canceled are they canceled for me? Honestly, no. I love my uh, black men. I love a black brother, but I'm not opposed to dating outside of my race um, with someone else. I'm not because honestly, I'm not really just all black myself. So, you know, I have a little bit of some other things inside of me. So, hey, what would be wrong with me dating a little Hispanic guy or dating, you know, I don't have a problem with that. But I will also say, ladies, I have also dated outside of my race. I have um, dated a Hispanic. Um, I have dated, um, well, you can't really say Nigerian. Hey, that's in me. So that's like a part of me, but I've dated a Nigerian. But you know, just not dating a regular African American man. I have, and sometimes that can be a little, and I've also dated a white guy, so let me put that out there too, so y'all won't be like, oh, you dated? Yes, I did. Um, won't even get into that right now, but yes, dating outside of our race, and you're like, well, you know, I don't know about that, but girls, these guys are all over the internet. That, I mean, when I'm strolling through my TikTok, all I see is white men saying, well, what do we have to do? What do y'all want us to say? Or how do how do you know? How do we uh, know that you know you guys want to talk to us? And you know how do we how do we get that connection? It seems to me is what other men are saying, and they're like, we want to date you, you know, African American women. What what do I need to do? What do I need to say? And it's so funny because we're so old now. Do we need to say? And but I guess what they are wanting to know is. How do we know you like us? How do you know? And to be honest, because I know there will be men that will watch this video because when they click on it, they say, well, are they counseling black men? What is this about? You know, and this is for any man, whether it's a black man wanting to date outside of his race. It's not about, um, you know, the person's race. It is about if you click with the person you know, yes, if you are a white man that is watching this video and you say, well, what do I need to do? How do I need to show you black ladies that I would love to date you? Um, it's not necessarily something that you have to do or say. You just have to, when you get in contact with that person and you're, let's say, on the elevator at work or you're in the grocery store, you make eye contact you compliment the person there's something that you need to say if if that person that you're trying to talk to let's say it's like i was in the grocery store one day and i had this white guy come up to me and he was like you are so beautiful he said now i will tell you that i think he was semi-flirting but i i didn't go any further with it but 
he, he had just came up and told me, he was like, you are so beautiful. He's like, you're just absolutely gorgeous. And he said, I just wanted to tell you that. He was like, oh, and then he also told me, he said, and I know you have to know God as well. He said, because you're just, I don't know, it's just a glow about you. And he just randomly came up to me. It's not, I wasn't looking at him. If he was looking at me or checking me out in the grocery store, I did not notice it until he came up and he said something. But I did not go into, oh, you know, I told him, thank you. I was like, oh my God, thank you. You know, that just made my day. Because when someone is being nice to you, whether it's flirting or just saying something really nice, it can make your day and it can put a smile on your face. So, and it did. And I let him know that. And so there are things like that you can do. And then, you know, the lady can carry on a conversation. Well, oh my gosh, you're, you're a nice looking man as well. And, you know, continue on the conversation. So it's just like you would date your own race. It's no different in dating us, seriously. And, and I feel like I need to say that because a lot of grown men are wanting to know what do they need to do? Like, it's, it's, it's we, you just need to fill out an application. It's like, what do I need to do to, to date you black women? Same thing you need to do to date your own race. It's, it's not hard. This is not, I think we take dating to a whole nother level than it really need to be. It's really not as amped up as we make it to be or make it out to be. Dating is very simple. And probably that's what we need to do is take it back to the simplicity that it used to be. So there's not something that you need to just come out of a hat and do. There's not some trick. There's not some thing that you just need to come up with. You just need to be yourself, meet, meet, another person whether it's a asian man wanting to date a white woman or if it's a black woman wanting to date a hispanic man it doesn't matter we're all the same we're all human there's nothing any different in another race than it is in you we may do things a little bit different now i will say that you may do things a little different than they because all of our uh, cultures are different. So if you are a white man and you want to date a black woman, I'm sure a lot of us don't want to take our first date on the lake getting our hair wet or some of those type of things. So there are... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like, girl, you crazy. Or I'm natural. I don't care. But even if you're natural, baby, I'm natural. But I don't want to be getting my hair wet. And I just did. Girl, do you know how long it takes me to do a hair day? It take a while. So there are certain things in different races that you will have to learn. Just like in the Nigerian uh, community or family. You know, even though a lot of us African Americans have that in us, we still don't do some of the things that they do and practice on a daily basis. You once you get into that culture, you realize, oh, they do that. That's cool. You know, you just exchange, you know, just different cultures and you find out about different people. And to be honest, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you are one of my sisters or my brothers on here and all you want to date is an African American person or if you're white and you just want to date white or if you're Hispanic and you just want to date Hispanic or if you're Asian and you just want to date Asian if you're Indian and you want to date Indian by all means I'm not telling nobody to mix nothing do what best fits you but what I am saying is if you want to know what we like if you want to know what we're like how to date us what just be interested just talk now you i'm not saying you won't get rejected because regardless if it's the same race you still may get rejected by someone that person may not feel the way you feel or just may not want to date you you know for whatever reason and i mean i haven't have anything to do with race so i think that we need to stop thinking when we're trying to date someone you know the race take that out of the equation now because this is 2022 baby do what works for you okay do whatever works for you well all right guys that's all i wanted to say but if you answer the question of my video are they canceled no they're not canceled we love all men <laughs> a man is a man so it's whatever floats your boat sis if you got your white man if you got your chinese man if you got your mexican man if you got your indian man girl do you you know what i'm saying and another thing is we need to stop shaming and hating people that because sometimes it is some people do date uh, out of their race because they hate themselves or they hate their mom and and I just want to date a white woman because I don't want to have nothing to do with my race. I mean, sometimes that is the case, but it's not always. Sometimes you meet a person and you just click with them and you just like them. It may not have anything to do with past mess or, you know, 
toxic stuff. It may just be that I just met him and girl, he be treating me good. He be treating me like the queen I am. You know what I mean? You may meet someone and they make you feel that way. But anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by my channel. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to carry this conversation on further, please let me know. Um, also, leave me a comment and tell me, have you ever dated outside of yours? Okay. Alrighty. Thank you for stopping by. You guys have a great day. Please like, please share, and please subscribe. Thank you.